really sad news about uh, Joey Jorgensen. Uh, I, I gotta ask you, um, you guys even played with him for a period. What? How, I know it's shocking, but I'm, like, sh I'm in shock. I'm in shock. I can't. I can't believe it. He's such a. That guy is such a fucking warrior. Um, loved drums, loved music, loved playing, would jump in and play with anybody um, if he felt like it was, you know, a passion. Because he, he, he just loved heavy music. He loved um, playing his instrument. It's very sad. It's very sad that he's gone so young. What's his legacy that he leaves behind? Like in your mind. What like an what? amazing fucking drummer. What amazing drummer. So, so, <laughs> the most energy I've seen any drummer have ever. You have any good memories? Like I have like, so many good memories about this guy. So we, we did a tour uh, back in 2000, I think 2005. And um, he, he would, uh, he had his own bus with another uh, member, uh, backing singer of the band. Um, his name is Kalen. They became really co close. We all, and we had the, the, their bus was called the Dragon Bus. <laughs> Why? Why and our that? bus was called the Pirate Bus. Okay, okay. Why? And it was always like, who partied harder, <laughs> the pirates or the dragons? And I you'd be like, it. dragons. <laughs> and, and then we'd go pirates. <laughs> and it was just a silly, that was just a, it was an inside, yeah. Kind of thing that we That's we did on tour. He'll always be remembered by me as somebody that's caring, compassionate, and an amazing musician. Any message to the family? I would like to tell his family and his bandmates that I'm truly sorry that we've lost we've lost him, and uh, I'm in shock. I, I can't believe it, and I just want to send them all my love. So.